Hey guys, one of the biggest questions I get is where do I buy my outfits from? And one of the most requested videos that you guys have been asking for has been for a haul video. So I thought I would combine them today and show you some of the recent pieces that I purchased, show you where I got them from because I ordered them online, and then do a try on haul for you guys and actually show you what the pieces look like on video and then also show you how I would style them and how I would wear them. So let me know if you guys like this video by giving the video a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know what outfit is your favorite and don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for a giveaway. So I got a couple of new pieces off of Nordstrom and the first dress that I bought was from Show Me Your Moo Moo and this was marketed as one of their bridesmaids dresses but I personally bought this to wear in my normal life as a maxi dress. I just thought it was so pretty, so romantic, so feminine and girly. I, I just really loved it. I love the white flowers on it. I love the neutral color. It feels very relaxed and comfortable even though it's a little bit more formal and I will tell you that this dress is very long. I'm five foot eleven and a half and it's to the floor on me so it's definitely a longer dress but it's so comfortable and pretty. This second dress I bought, I originally bought it for the 4th of July. I loved the one shoulder ruffle straps, I loved the stripes on it and I was going to pair it with a belt and my lace up shoes. I just thought it was like so cute and fun. But when I tried it on, I didn't like that the elastic around the top of the dress, like where the ruffle was, kept folding over. So I had to keep adjusting it and kind of moving it back. I don't know if it was just too heavy, like if the ruffles were too heavy or what was going on with it. So I ended up returning that dress. And then this dress is a dress by Cupcakes and Cashmere and it's just a very simple striped tunic dress. It's very relaxed and casual. And I bought this to be kind of like a throw on piece when I don't know what to wear I can just throw this on it's super simple super comfortable and super cute and I just paired it with a white purse and then my lace up ankle strap heels so I also bought a couple of pieces off of Revolve and the first dress that I bought is by Lovers and Friends and I love this maxi dress again this is another very long maxi dress because it is to the ground on me and I loved the thigh slit on it. I love that it had straps but still had the off the shoulder straps and I love that it had this little bow tie detailing. It is very fitted while still being relaxed. It has a zipper up the side and I just love that it's a casual flowy dress but still having a shape to it. Like it's very well made. The next dress I bought was actually from the brand Rails, and Rails is that brand that has a lot of really great comfortable flannels, so when I saw this dress I was kind of shocked that it was by Rails, but I've been getting rid of a lot of the clothes in my closet and trying to downsize, and I bought this because it was kind of like an upscale casual little black dress. It's great to throw on in the summer when it's really warm, but you still want to be formal, but you want to wear something comfortable, so that's why I bought this dress. So like I said, I'm trying to downsize my closet and fill it with really great basic staple pieces I can rewear over and over again. So I thought this dress would be perfect for that. I love the stripes. They go with everything. You can wear them pretty much with anything, with jackets. And I just love that it's great for the warmer months. I can just throw it on when I don't know what to wear. And again, I've just paired it with my brown lace-up sandals and my hat. I love buying accessories that I can rewear a million different times with all my different outfits. I love to get my trendy pieces from Windsor because they're very inexpensive, but they're still very cute and on trend and very current. So I love that they have these um, schmaxies, I think they call them. They're the shorts with combined with maxis and they're so comfortable to wear in the summer. I love wearing these because it feels like you're wearing a romper but it's still a little bit more elevated in your dress. I love this one because it's black and white, it's off the shoulder, it's striped, it's very cute and I feel like it looks very very fashionable so again I've just paired it with my brown backpack, my hat, and my lace-up sandals, and my key sunglasses. The next two pieces I got from Windsor as well are the short maxi combos and I love this one for a summer day activity. I think this would be so cute to wear out to brunch with your friends or to like wine taste or any of those really fun summer activities. I think this is so fashionable, so chic and so cute and I've seen a lot of similar pieces and this one is so much less expensive but still just as cute. I love the bow detailing, I love the longer sleeves, they look very trendy and this is just so comfortable. 
beautiful. And then the next piece I got also is another one of those maxi dresses with the combined shorts. And I just loved all the detailing on this. I love that it kind of looks like crochet. I love that it laces up in the front. I love that it's sheer on the bottom. I just think the detailing on this is very, very pretty. I'm actually giving away a $50 gift card with Windsor to one of you guys. If you want to enter to win that gift card, all you have to do is follow us both on Instagram. My Instagram name is Carly Christman. They are Windsor Store. All you have to do is follow the both of us and comment on my latest picture. It will say it in the picture and I'll have all the rules listed down below in the info bar if you guys want to enter to win $50 to upgrade your summer wardrobe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this haul video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and let me know. Also, don't forget to request videos because that's actually why I filmed this video is because so many of you guys commented about it. So let me know what you'd like to see and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.